What is up guys, Computer MD of Gilbert here, and in today's video, we're gonna go with something a little bit different. And today I'm gonna show you uh, some quick and easy SEO tips uh, to help get your website found on Google and all the major search engines, and really just help you get found online. Guys, before we get started, wixmywebsite.com, link in the description below. If you guys have not yet signed up for my weekly Wix tips, I recommend you do so. As you can see, I've already got a testimonial from someone my list has helped um, that I've been working with her directly, um, and she is really an amazing person. Um, so this is just one example. Uh, guys, if you're starting your very first website or looking to finish your current website, this list is going to help you out. I throw uh, exclusive content to you guys on the email list that YouTube does not see. Um, and yeah, I've already got tons of people thanking me for the content that uh, we I've sent out so far um, so it's working and if you're looking to learn more about Wix at all just anything little things I recommend you go ahead and get on that list so guys let's start into some of these SEO tips first things first you want to make sure your home page especially um, is really optimized for SEO so by doing this you could go up here to home uh, you can go in here to these little page manager these three little buttons and then page SEO when you get into there, um, you'll notice uh, your page SEO. So it says, get found on Google. Um, so first things first, what's your page's title on search engines? So guys, you wanna make sure this title is pretty, you know, keyword packed. Um, so my website is obviously Wix my website. However, I added on learn how to build a website in Wix. It just adds a little bit more to it and throws in a couple more keywords. Next thing is the page description. So you want to make sure your page description is um, really filled uh, with quality and dense um, keywords, but a description. So you want to maybe use a max of three keywords um, in your description uh, that really helps describe your page, but also drives traffic to it at the same time. So you can see mine is Wix My Website is designed to provide visitors with Wix website tutorials, resources to learn more about Wix, and tools to help build their very own Wix website. So these hit like three different major keywords right there, um, even some smaller keywords um, if you break it up. Um, so then that helps Google find you um, and use it uses it kind of like the keywords you'll put in down below. Um, then you'll see this, hide this page from search results. Do not click this on if you want to get found on Google. Because if you click this on, this will hide you from search engines. That's definitely not what you want with this video. Um, then your page URL, so Google does look at like your URL as well. Um, so make sure, um, obviously, with a premium uh, package on Wix, uh, you're going to get a custom domain. Um, obviously, your custom domains will always surpass you know, a free .wix.com domain. Um, so if at all possible, try to get a custom domain. Um, and then uh, just make your page URL, in this case it's home, um, you know, you could probably optimize this more instead of home and maybe change it to wixmywebsite.com and then change this to maybe um, weekly Wix tips or something like that instead of home. Um, you you want to try to keyword pack that as well. Um, and then right below you see what are the page's keywords. Uh, it says optional, definitely use this. So put in as many keywords as you can um, that are relevant. Uh, don't start getting irrelevant because Google will notice that you're starting to get irrelevant with your keywords as well. So try to input as many as you can that are relevant to your website. Um, you can see I've got a couple right off the bat, Wix website tutorials, Wix tutorials novices. Um, and guys, I also wanted to tell you, uh, you should use the Google keyword tool um, that Google AdSense provides and do some research based off of your target audience and what people in your audience search the most. Um, and try to find the top keywords from your audience so that way you can target your website to those keywords. And then you'll see a little preview on Google here and this is how your like listing um, per se or your search result will look on Google. And then you would click done. So guys, the name of the game is to truly do that for every page. Now I have one last little quick tip uh, that I wanted to show you um, that Wix actually provides you and it's excellent. So if you go into your dashboard, you'll see something over here called SEO Wiz. And then if you click this and press improve SEO, Wix, and I've already gone through this, nice job, you're making progress. Um, so Wix actually gives you uh, a step-by-step -step, um, written plan 
on how to maximize your SEO. You can see I've already done it. They'll have you put in uh, five uh, keywords that really zone in and target on uh, your audience. Um, and these, again, they only allow you five keywords for this in particular tool. Again, you can add as many as you want on the page. However, these five keywords, when you get to this part of the SEO whiz, these are the ones you're really going to want to make sure you've researched on the Google Keyword Tool. Make sure these really hit home and make sure these are the most searched out of all the keywords you input to input into, you know, try to figure out what were the best. Um, then you'll see they give you a checklist. Uh, so make sure your website is mobile friendly. Google does notice if your website's mobile friendly, it's going to get you higher listed in the search engine ranking. Um, so that's another little tip and trick right there. Make sure your website's mobile friendly. Um, make sure your homepage is set visible in the search results. That's like that little tab I just showed you. You want to make sure it's off so that way it is on in the search results. Um, update the homepage's SEO title. Um, so you can see here uh, the SEO title is that initial title there. Um, and then you'll see it gives you a little outline. So make sure your title is unique. You use at least one of your keywords. Um, you use your business or site name, like how it appears. Um, it says include your location. Uh, that's one you could you could do if you want. You can see I haven't done that just because my location is literally online. Um, and then make sure your title is a good length. Uh, as I mentioned, it will show you right here a uh, step by step like what to do and how to do all of that. Um, then you see homepages SEO description is good to go. Optimize the homepages content. So then my next tip that leads us into that just from this point right here. Make sure you have lots of content on your website and make sure your content is thorough um, and it's quality content. Don't just give content with a bunch of links, um, a bunch of pictures. Make sure you have some written text in there. Um, you have pictures, you have videos. You want to include all different forms of media and you really want to make your website, you know, you want to have a good design, but make sure your website's saturated with content um, that Google can scan um, and their bots can scan search your website and help you get listed higher into Google search engine. Um, and then also uh, this says make sure your contact info is all set up on your homepage. So make sure obviously you set your contact information up um, at the bottom in your footer or something like that just so Google can scan and say, oh, here's their email, here's their phone number, here's their location. Uh, they seem legitimate. And then update the social links. So the more social media you have, uh, Google also looks at that. So truthfully, out of all things, what you need to do with your website is make sure um, that you establish credibility. Um, you establish you know, a good foundation, a good base, um, and if you do that, Google will most likely you know, scan your website. You should pass all of those little tips and tricks tests, um, and you should be able to start ranking higher as long as you follow that SEO plan and you go in here and add the SEO to all of your major pages. Um, you should be rocking and rolling. Like I said, make sure you input a lot of content. The more content you have on your website, the higher you're going to rank in Google. That's just how it goes. It shows you're more established. You have more content. Um, you know, you've got all of that. So I just wanted you to know that. Um, but yeah, those are just some tips and tricks to really uh, improve your SEO for Google. Um, now, don't forget. Wixmywebsite.com, link in the description below. If you have not yet signed up, one last time, go ahead and do so. Guys, if this video helped you out, please drop me a like down below. Comment if you have any questions at all. I'm here to help. And subscribe to me here on Computer MD of Gilbert as I'm looking forward to growing with you guys. And part of that growth is these weekly Wix tips. And a special thank you to Lily for writing this awesome testimonial. Um, just come to the website just to check this out alone, guys. That was so nice of her. Um, and then while you're here, go ahead and sign up for weekly Wix tips. Thank you guys again, and I'll catch you on the next one.